FatCat220 here again uh, with another prop test. Uh, a few weeks back I tested a Zor 2412 uh, Beechwood prop. Um, I got about uh, 18 pounds of thrust on some tired batteries. I used that same test setup and uh, uh, with these uh, new Turnigy batteries and I en actually ended up with 22 pounds of thrust at about uh, 66, 67 uh, amps. Uh, that's on two 5S uh, batteries. So new, new batteries, definitely a lot more thrust, more of what I was expecting. So the uh, old donated batteries that I got will go uh, hasta la bye bye. So what I've got today is the Turnigy 2410 uh, World War One series, uh, the Scimitar Light Prop. I want to go ahead and run the same test uh, using new batteries find out what kind of thrust I get out of this. So right now nothing's plugged in. Uh, it's all open so we are safe. And what I'll do is go ahead and plug everything in, get behind the test rig, and or actually get behind the test rig, plug everything in, and then I'll go ahead and run a thrust test. And I'll try to show you both thrust and amps depending on the how, how good the uh, camera works on that. So uh, give me a second and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, here everything's plugged in and armed. Um, I don't know if you can read this, but basically we've got about 20.64 volts reading off of one of my two batteries. So I'll get the amps for the uh, series system and the volts for one of the two batteries. So that's fully charged. And over here I've got my handy dandy fish uh, scale. So this will give me my thrust and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got pounds on the bottom there, and um, again, I'll probably have to read that off for you. Go ahead and start it all up. Okay, here we go. Throttling up. So we got about uh, 23 pounds of thrust. I ran this earlier on very fresh batteries. I get about 24 pounds, so that's that's outstanding. Um, especially being a two inch less pitch than my uh, previous Zor prop, I was surprised to find I got so much more thrust. But I think it has everything to do with the. Here, let me unplug this. Excuse me a second. Okay, we are now unplugged, so the system is safe. Um, I think that's due to the shape of this prop. Um, it's much thicker towards the OD of the prop. Uh, so more wing area there, turning at high speeds, so we get a lot more thrust with this prop. We do also pull more amps, but at 70, 75 uh, amps, I'd be okay with that. The uh, maximum amp rating on the motor is 85 amps, and I'm gonna get a, a Scorpion 90 amp ESC, so we should have plenty of headroom. Well, that's all there is to report. This is my, uh, by the way, my new test stand. I tried to run this a week or so ago, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, ended up breaking up my test stand, but everything was safe. Fortunately, nothing, you know, happened to the prop or the motor or anything else. But uh, I've rebuilt it, and it is much stronger. All right, that's it, and I will talk with you later. Bye.